Furiosa. I don't know why I said it like that, but they released a new trailer for Furiosa, the movie by George Miller, going into basically the past of this character that was introduced in Mad Max Fury Road. I reacted to trailer number two. Now, uh, trailer number two. I meant trailer number one. I don't know what's going on with my brain. Anyways, today I'm reacting to trailer number two. So let's get it. Alrighty, I got my headphones on. You already know the drill. Let's put full screen and get this thing going. We've come too far. That's why. I'm just curious, I think. That's what you're <laughs> George Miller, indeed a mastermind. Unfortunately, he's not doing the live action film. My world was forever changed. My mother was magnificent. And he took it all from me. Who do we have here? She's from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. My childhood. My mother. I want them back. I want them back! Whatever you have to do, however long it takes, promise you'll find your way home. Protect the green place. Yo, Chris Hemsworth is jamming in this movie. There will always be war, but to get home, Furiosa fought the world. Okay. Remember me. Okay. Wait, what is the release date? May 24th. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, then. Wow. Furiosa. Okay. I... I quite enjoyed it. I think I think the trailers have done a good job of hyping this up as another sort of Mad Max big adventure movie. Um, does feel like we are like in heavy like revenge story season, I guess. I don't know if that's just me, <laughs> but it just feels like revenge stories are now in. Um, but I'm here for it. Listen, I liked Furiosa and, and Fury Road. I thought she was a great character. Um, I'm not upset with expanding her sort of lore or backstory before she met Mad Max. And so um, I'm interested to see it. I'm interested to see what happens. I'm inter I mean, Chris Hemsworth looks like he's having a good time being directed by George Miller. I'll tell you that much is for sure. That much is for certain. Boy, look like he's having a good time on that set. Um, speaking of the set, though, one of the things that I am a little bit, I feel like I'm always a nitpicker of this, but. This feels like it has way more green screen than Mad Max Fury Road did. And I, I don't know how I feel about it. There's a lot of shots in there that are kind of like, eh, a little iffy. But also, I say that with a grain of salt because, uh, or just with a tad bit of ten tentativeness. Only because I saw the first trailer when I was watching Dune Part 2 in theater and on an IMAX screen. And it felt fine, looked fine. The grain sort of like helped. A lot of the scenes and so if if that's the case and i'm just looking at it digitally and it just because everything is enhanced nowadays you know you can kind of tell the difference between what's real and what's not but when you're looking at a you know projected theater screen it it, it does become a little bit different and so hopefully that's the case and hopefully i'm not taken completely out of the world and the experience of this movie because i love the mad max world that george miller has created 
I love every single Mad Max movie. So um, I'm going to throw this out there. I don't know if I threw it out there in the first Furiosa trailer reaction. But if you want to see me deep dive into the Mad Max world, uh, I know my fian my uh, uh, my lady has not seen any of the Mad Max movies. And so this would be a good sort of excuse to, to rewatch them. So if you guys want to see my deep dive into the Mad Max world from every single movie up until Furiosa, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you've saw, seen the video this far, be sure to like and subscribe because I got way more videos coming. All right. So you don't want to miss any one of them. So hit that notification bell before I go because I'm leaving like, like now.